So next we're going to look at a couple of limits where we use L'Hopital's rule, and these are ones of the form infinity over infinity. And also we're dealing with the situation where x is going to infinity, right? So we're looking at these sort of asymptotic limits. Fortunately, L'Hopital's rule applies there just as well as it does for limits at a point. Now, this one, I, I think you'd be foolish to apply L'Hopital's rule here because if you remember the rules for evaluating limits at infinity for rational functions, we look at this and we say, hey, same degree, top and bottom, look at the coefficients, you know the answer is 3 over 4, right? You don't need L'Hopital's rule here. But, you know, you have a new toy, you want to play with it, so you decide, hey, let's give it a try. And we, we look at this and we say, okay, this is infinity over infinity. So we're going to use L'Hopital's rule to evaluate the limit. So we get the limit, x going to infinity, 6x minus 100 over 8x plus 5. Of course, it's still infinity over infinity. So apply L'Hopital's rule one more time. We get derivative of the top is just 6, derivative of the bottom is just 8. Okay, so we get the limit of 6 over 8, which is 6 over 8, or if you like 3 quarters, but of course we already knew that. So we come over to here. This is probably one of the situations where L'Hopital's rule really comes in handy, is when you're dealing with limits involving exponential functions, sort of asymptotic limits, usually with x going to infinity, or maybe x is getting close to zero. You, um, we'll see some of these other examples very soon. So what we can do here is we can confirm that, yes, indeed, this is infinity over infinity. So L'Hopital's rule applies. And of course, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. But on the bottom, we take the derivative of that power function, we get 3x squared. This is kind of a technique that comes in handy quite a bit, right? This is a standard technique. Using the fact that the exponential function never goes away, we can, we can use that to argue that, you know, in, in a fight with really any power function, through repeated application of L'Hopital's rule, the power function is eventually going to go away, but the exponential function goes nowhere. Right? So we use L'Hopital's rule one more time. It's still infinity over infinity. So let's do it a third time. And we get the limit as x goes to infinity of e to the x over 6. Now, you might be concerned that maybe, maybe this isn't a valid application of L'Hopital's rule because we said at the outset that, you know, you can apply L'Hopital's rule any number of times, but the limit at the end has to actually exist. In this case, the limit is infinite, right? Because e to the x is still going to infinity. Infinity divided by constant is still infinity. Um, does that count? Is that a valid answer? Well, yeah, um, because, you know, if, if you're not happy with this, you could have always looked at the reciprocal, right? If we did x cubed over e to the x, we're going to get 0 for the limit, right? And if the reciprocal is going to 0, uh, then the original function, it's positive, right? Um, the reciprocal is going to 0, so we expect that, yes, it is indeed going to infinity. And so we can be pretty confident in concluding that this limit is infinite.